Okay, here we have it. We are already at our sold products here. And this whole clip or video is on feedback. So I know we had talked about um, these icons here on the right last time. We talked about how checkout and paid, right? And then we shipped the product after it sold and then this one lit up so let's see what that looks like lit up okay here you go and we need to complete this series of five icons and our goal is to make them all light up as you can see here this fourth one is lit up and that one means feedback has been left on my behalf so from where you guys left off you should have three icons lit up after you have shipped your item. The next step will be to leave feedback. Every single feedback I leave for a customer is the same. Okay, so here's the item. We can type in something if we would like. And I usually, if I would type something in, it would be um, excellent buyer fast payment thanks okay and you can leave feedback okie dokie so we'll scroll down and you'll notice it's still the same. It does take a minute or two to actually refresh and hit that fourth icon. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down even further. So after this icon pops up, you'll have four. So the last one is feedback received or not. This one is feedback left and this one is feedback received from the customer this is what you would want right here and you want it to be a positive feedback so if we keep scrolling down we see if we find one now not everybody leaves feedback but you'll get a lot of people who do okay so here we go here's an iPhone 4 battery replacement the buyer has checked out he's paid I shipped it on April 4th. I left feedback right after doing so. And after the buyer re received the product, he liked it, so he left positive feedback. So that completes our five icons for what our goals are supposed to be as we go through the eBay experience. Okay, so what happens if a buyer leaves you negative feedback? Well, let's find out. If a buyer leaves you negative feedback, you go all the way up to the top. You've got a feedback score next to your name. And you'll notice I'm using a different account, which is a little bit more established. And don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, these are just for examples. So we click on our feedback score. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, we've got positive, neutral, and negative. Well, here's month, six months, 12 months. So I've received 1,948 positive feedbacks. Okay. However, my feedback rating says 1880. Why is that? Well, these are for all the feedbacks meaning if I buy something from a seller on eBay he can leave me good feedback like you just left your buyer good feedback those don't count for a part of your score only the customers feedback towards you count only if they are a customer of yours so 1880 customers of mine that have left me positive feedback as you see here, I've got a 99.9% .9 rating. 
in the last 12 months. And as you look down here, you'll notice I have six neutral and one negative. Okay, well, one person left me negative, and so it went from 100% to 99.9. .9. Now, this is very important. This account is top rated. Now, one of the requirements that deals with feedback of being top rated, you have to have a 98% feedback score minimum. Mine's usually above 99.6 or 7 on all of my accounts. So that is very important. You definitely want to keep up with your customers. Make them happy. Communication is key and over delivering by creating the correct listing is essential. So if we had a negative feedback here and we received it in the last 30 days, we can message the buyer first, see if they're willing to work with us. And if they are, then we can go all the way to the very bottom of any eBay page. And right here at the bottom left, you'll see site map. We'll go ahead and click on sitemap. And at the right hand side of the page, you will see where it says feedback forum. We're going to click on this. This is where we can request the feedback revision. We'll go ahead and click on feedback revision on the right hand side under feedback tools. Okay, so we've had one feedback that was not positive in the last 30 days. The neutrals do not affect your percentage, so they're not really that big of a deal. Um, however, they could leave you a low star rating, which we'll talk about here in a minute, which could be important. I usually don't revise the neutrals, just the negatives, but if you wanted to, you click this icon, give the buyer a reason. I usually just type in, thanks again, because I've already spoken to him prior. We worked out an arrangement that he would change it. I might have offered him a full refund on a $5 item, or I might have sent out a replacement, or just whatever I could do to make him satisfied is what happened. So once we go ahead and write a reason, go ahead and click the blue button send and it'll send a feedback revision request to his inbox. And all he has to do is open the, in the message in his inbox, click accept, and he has the option to go ahead and leave positive feedback and rewrite his comments. Pretty simple and easy enough. So we're going to go back <clears throat> to my eBay and we're going to go over account and if I remember correctly, I believe it's under seller a dashboard. Okay. So right now I'm top rated. <clears throat> As of April 20th, wow, I'm going to lose my top rated. So let's find out why. Okay. So we scroll down to our one day handling and 14 day return policy. I did meet those, right? So you're thinking, well, you should have top rated. You met the requirements. However, the customers have a lot to do with your feedback. I mean, uh, or, well, yeah, with your feedback and if you're top rated or not. So let's go ahead and click on top rated. Let's see if it'll tell us why. Okay, let's go back actually. 
so. Okay, so let's go ahead and under your performance to date, right now, we'll go ahead and do one out of four performances can be improved. That's where it's at. That's what's messing me up right here. As you can see, shipping and handling, the one day shipping, of course, that's all the way to operated. Shipping time. Great. Communication. Two low ratings out of 930. Well, that meets the top rated standard. Item as described. This is normally where you'll fail if you do. And this is very, very, very important. This is why you have to over deliver, not over promise. Seven low ratings out of 930. So this I'm at 0.75% and I need to be at 0.50 right here. So that's what I need to work on to be top rated again. So just always pay attention to that. It's very, very important. Um, and I think that wraps it up, guys. That's pretty much the whole spiel on, on feedback and how to leave it and and receiving it and revising it if you do get a negative feedback and just always checking on your account if you're gonna be not top rated in the future now you know what to try to fix okay so that wraps it up thanks for watching and I'll see you next time